All right, today we are going to be doing something really cool. We are going to be installing the R9 390X gaming video card by MSI. Hopefully you can see that beautiful box there. Let me make sure it gets in the frame. Isn't it gorgeous? And we're going to be replacing our 290X. Now there's not a whole ton of difference between the 290 and the 390. There's some upgrades uh, that they did. Obviously it has more memory. Uh, the speed tests uh, show some improvement. Is it worth upgrading between the 290 and the 390? Probably not, but being a geek and all, I'm going to do it anyways, right? Um, wow, look at this card. Isn't it beautiful? Let's take a look at this beautiful piece of machinery. Oh my gosh, is it big. I don't know if you can get an idea of scale of size here, but this is just a monster of a card. I mean, it's gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but look how big this card is. It is heavy, it is big, it is just one colossal beast here. Let's get an idea of size of this thing, just so you know. You know, we're coming in at a little bit over 11 inches in length, about 11 and a half inches long, and probably somewhere around uh, close to five inches wide. So uh, the card is extremely heavy as well. Let's look at what they pack in here. So you've got some extra cables uh, for your connections. Let me make sure you guys can see those there. So just your standard adapters which I won't need because I already have a card installed. Um, you've got your quick user's guide which is for losers to read, right? Uh, your gaming series kind of pamphlet and your software which you'll probably be downloading online so it's worthless unless you're probably unless you were building a new machine uh, and you needed some drivers to kick you off. So this is what we're going to. We're going to sell our 290 and this is how I am always ensuring that I have the latest and greatest technology before something becomes too dated. I sell it so that my price difference between the upgrade and what I'm selling uh, is not as extreme as going out and buying a new card once my old card becomes worth nothing. So what we've got to do here is actually I've got thumb screws so I won't even need the screwdriver uh, we're going to remove two screws for the video card. And this is an ASRock 990FX. I have a water-cooled AMD Viscera. So this video card is going to go perfectly with that. Now, make sure we got no static electricity on us. I live in Georgia, so we don't really have a huge static electricity problem. Uh, if you do, you may want to use one of the uh, bracelets uh, to make sure you stay discharged. And let's grab this by the non-important circuitry here. And we are free. So this is the Power Color 290X. It's been a fantastic video card. It's just been a beast. It's run everything I've thrown at it absolutely let's see if I can get that in focus for you absolutely love this video card here uh, but this bad boy will be going on eBay for a new home and we will be replacing it with the 390 I'm very happy with power color I said power cooler didn't I very happy with power color uh, very very impressive card I have zero complaints with it. So if you're looking for a good 290X, it's a good card. Uh, you can see here they've got some uh, plastic over the circuitry, which is a nice touch here. So you don't end up scratching it uh, in transit. And you've got the plastic caps over each of your plugs for your HDMI. There we go. So you can get a good view of that. And we are going to place her in here. Gosh, I hope it fits as big as this thing is. And I have a gigantic case, too. 
So we're going to gently come down here and make sure we are lined up. Try not to touch the important parts of the card as much as possible. Uh, they do have a back plate here, which is really nice, so your fingers aren't touching the uh, circuitry while you're installing it. So now we're going to put in our thumb screws, make sure it's nice and tight. That is it. The video card is installed, but now we have to give it some kind of power. So we're going to plug our adapters in here. And this is the pain in the ass part because they got this little tiny cord that you have to line up just right. I think it's supposed to click and lock in on most, but this cord just doesn't do that effectively. Every time I move it, it just comes undone, so it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. It's a little better. Get this out of the way of the fan there. And this one should go in pretty easily. That's it. Now we are powered up. Keep this from touching there. So we are good to go. Now we will put our uh, side panel back on. And I'm going to move this for you guys so you can see some of the other stuff we're sporting here. Looks beautiful in there, doesn't it? Got to do some more cable management, but as often as I'm replacing parts, it tends to get scrambled pretty quick. In any case, let's see how she performs. You can see we got a little better performance with the 290 or the 390X than the 290X 512 to 524. Um, not a huge jump, but enough. I wasn't expecting anything massive. There's 8 gigabytes of RAM versus the 4, but other than that, it's the same architecture as the uh, 290X, just kind of retooled. So, not a huge jump stock, but of course you have your overclocking options uh, if you're into that. Now, what I'm going to do is add a scene here, and let's do some game capture. Options, graphics. So there's no more than maximum, so I think we're good here. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty is the highest I can go on this monitor, anyways. All right. Do I have any saves? Yes, I do. Let's load. All right, so we are back in it. Avenger plotting new course. I haven't played this game in a long time. I don't even know what to do at this point. So much going on, but uh all right, let's do. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement, but fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat unit, this fearsome creature, long referred to as a berserker, lag-free, absolutely beautiful. To the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. I literally installed the card, turned on Windows, it found 
drivers, installed it, screen went blank for a second, and it was back, and we were good to go. I didn't have to do any other updates in the software or anything, which is nice. It's a completely different manufacturer, but same type of car, 290 to 390. Obviously, you'd be in a different boat if you were switching from NVIDIA to AMD or vice versa. All right, so let's back out of this. Let's go back to our... This outcome, though it is intriguing, as if the typical muton wasn't aggressive enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will do more than I need more crystals. Once I file my report, I need more dilithium crystals. Strategic resource located. Heading course for East Asia. Uh, she probably went to a supply drop since I'm all out of everything, but whatever. You damn right I have, sir. All right, that's it. I am showing you the new 390X by MSI. So far, solid performance, no issues at all. Kind of loving it. I do love that it glows too in the case. MSI lights up its logo inside my case. It's pretty beautiful. I'll put some pictures on Twitter up for you. Until next time.